This is Mahmoud Hassan Mehra's welcome to another solution tutorial of SOLIDWORKS. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the top view and this is the section view of A, A. Okay. So first of all, I will start drawing from the top plane. In the top plane, I will draw this circle. And this circle has a dimension of 28 diameter. Then we can see we have another smaller circle here. But it's this small circle has a cut in this way. And after taking a 4 unit length, I will uh, I'll cut this extra circular portion. After that, we can see it has a total stood boss of 5 unit. So, I will extrude boss to 2.5 unit in the upper portion and 2.5 unit in the lower portion. The same way will be done in this side also. Okay. After that, we can see we have a circular path here. And this circular path has a total dimension of 3 diameter. So, for that, I will draw a center line from here to here. Okay. Then I will draw a rectangular shape like this way. Then I will use the revolve boss to revolve it. Okay. Then the final thing is come that is our this extra cut cycle portion and the other extra cut circle portion. This extra cut cycle has a diameter of 25 unit and this extra cut cycle has a diameter of 3 unit and they are extra cut to through all. Okay, let's do it. So first of all, I am selecting the top plane from here. Now right click on it. Now sketch. After that, select the cycle tool from here and draw a cycle of 28 diameter. Okay, drawing a cycle of 28 diameter. Now press OK. After that, again select the center line because the center distance from this circle to that circle is 32 unit. Okay, so I'm taking a center line and drawing a center line of 32 unit. So dimension it to 32 unit, a horizontal line. Okay. Now select another circle and draw a circle circle of six diameter because this circle has a dimension of 6 diameter now we can see we have to cut a line of 4 unit from here so so that i am selecting a line tool from here and drawing a vertical line sorry selecting a line tool from here and drawing a vertical line from here to here now select this one dimension tool and dimension this horizontal line to 4 unit a vertical line to 4 unit. So I am dimensioning it to 4 unit. Now press OK. Now select the trim tool. Select the trim tool and trim the unnecessary part that we don't need. So I am trimming this two portion. Now press OK. Now I submit ticket for a better view. Now go to features. Now extrude boss. As the total extrude boss is 5 unit. So I will extrude boss it to 2.5 each so I'm extra boss into 2.5 in this way and the direction 2 you can use the 2.5 unit or you can uh, you can use the total 5 unit from here okay dimension to 5 unit then use the from the mid plane now press ok now it's time for the our circular handle for that I am again selecting the top plane from here now right click on it now sketch now from now select the corner rectangle and from this center line uh, this circle center point okay this circle center point to this circle this circle center point to this origin draw a circle a rectangle and it has a dimension of vertical dimension of 1.5 unit as the total radius is 3 unit so it will be 1.5 unit okay now let me assume it for a better view now i am going to select the revolve boss and axis of revolution the axis of revolution will be this line now press ok So 
so what this feature has been done now i submit ticket for a better view now it's time for circular cut and for the time selecting the top plane again now right click on it now sketch now normal to it now select a oh, sorry now select a circle and this has a circular cut of 25 diameter and this is, has a circular cut of 3 diameter okay placing it to previous circle origin and it has a diameter uh, circle of 3 diameter now i submit it for a better view now go to features now is to cut now is to cut it to through all both so it's been cutting to through all both now press ok so as you can see we have drawn our theory case thank you for watching till the end Thanks for watching and keep learning. Be different.